Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 151. And today we're gonna build on yesterday where we were going back to the basics of grip. And we're gonna now learn that even deeper by switching hands. You can tell I have nothing in my P30L because of my barrel block. If you don't have a barrel block, go get one. Block Safety, B-L-O-K Safety.com. Enter the code REDHAWK at checkout, get 15% off your order. Yesterday in, one, in, in 150, we worked on presenting, going from index to trigger, and then not letting the sight move, which is a function of my grip and not letting that sight move all the way through my double action press. If I really want to learn this, a great discovery path is to now switch hands. So now I'm running support side and I need to build my grip. And going back to uh, day 149, if I use my tactile marker, surprise, it still works. I still want here and here. So now, same thing, just support side. And what this does, it allows my most coordinated hand to be what really is the most important one in shooting, which is my support hand. And so I'm really driving in the fundamentals into my body by doing it backwards because if the methodology works support side, it will work even better strong side. So support side, two hand, go from index to trigger, Let's try it again. From index to trigger. I'm noticing all the shaking happening because I habitually shoot right-handed and so my support hand just wants to do all the work. Wow, that's fascinating. Okay, from index to trigger. Huh, from index to trigger. That felt right. From index to trigger. From index to trigger. Little bit of drop, just a little bit that I saw. I'll be really curious to watch this back on video. And now from index to trigger. From index to trigger, a little bit of outside shake. From index to trigger, hmm. one more time. From index to trigger. Now don't be surprised as you do this if you start to feel like your hands are getting incredibly tired. You're using them in different ways and you're using them in ways that aren't habituated and your, your muscles just aren't used to this exact work. So give yourself permission to take a break, shake out your hands, come back and try it again. But what you will discover by doing this support side in the goofiness of doing it backwards, you start to realize what, your, what part of your grip methodology is working and what part of it you need to change in your thinking in order to make this drill work support side. Then you take all of that learning and you journal it and you apply that learning now back to your strong side. And I think the learning will be tremendous. So give this a shot, put some work in on this, use your journal and write down what you did well that you can build on and I'll see you tomorrow.